is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today we have some questions for you guys and we are going to take an analysis on a couple of things that i want to discuss with you guys and i apologize this video is not going up earlier in the morning because last night i felt like absolute terrible trash garbage idiot dumb awfulness and so i could not like guys i felt so not i don't know what it is hit me out of nowhere just freaking rko style randy orton with the nausea just just, just freaking nausea just came out of nowhere and just RKO'd my face into the pavement. But I'm back here today. One, two, three, I was down for the count, but here I am back. And uh, we're going to upload now, and uh, we're going to get through it anyways. I sat down to do this video last night, and I was literally just just wobbly and whatever, and then bam, RKO out of nowhere. But we're back. We're, we're good now. We're good now. So today, we're going to be discussing the MDT pick fed. As you can see, we have all the champions lined up right here. And yesterday's video, if you guys missed the unboxing yesterday, we discussed something for a little bit. I think it was like a minute or longer, maybe like 60 seconds, maybe 120 seconds. I don't know. But we discussed something, and it was the fact of Chris Benoit. Now, Chris Benoit, if you guys don't know who that is, well, I think that uh, you need to do a quick little Google Wikipedia search. But I think everybody pretty much knows who Chris Benoit is. Now, when I was growing up, Chris Benoit was one of my favorite wrestlers in the world, okay? Like, uh, when I first started watching wrestling, my three favorites were Kurt Angle, Chris Jericho, and Chris Benoit. I was huge on them. I used to cry when this man would lose. That's how big of a fan I was. If Kurt Angle, Chris Jericho, and Chris Benoit lost, I was devastated and I was so upset, but that made all the high moments really, really big for me, so I would get really excited and awesome, you know, when they won, so when Chris Benoit won at WrestleMania 20, I literally, I think I cried tears of joy, so I mean, it's, you know, it's give or take there, but Chris Benoit, we all know what he did, tragically, if you don't know what Chris Benoit did, definitely just do a quick Google search, it's pretty terrible, it's awfulness, and so yesterday in our video, we picked up two Jax figures from my boy Geo. we picked up two Jax Chris Benoit figures, and I've already popped the heads off here because I'm going to paint them up and customize them and try to make two new Chris Benoit custom elite figures so that I can have them just like this. I like Chris Benoit as the wrestler. You know, he's one of my favorites of all time, so I want to make some customs of the man and put them up on the shelf just like I have my AJs and my Dolphs and my Cenas and everything else. You guys know how I like to display my figures. So I want to make those customs, but then, you know, the idea crossed that, you know, I've always thought to myself, I never want to put this man in the pick fed because I feel like, you know, other pick feds, are, there's storyline but there's not as much you know talking and you know you know the commentators talking about it and I have to you know give my own personal feelings about somebody and it just always crossed my mind that it would just be distasteful to the family and the victims of Chris Benoit to put him in the pick fed and show him as a champion or glorify him in any way even if it's just wrestling I just felt like that would be distasteful or wrong in my opinion when I'm on commentary with Brad and we're like oh Chris Benoit Chris Benoit's done it he's won the champion Championship. Chris Benoit does it. He's overcame all the odds and all this stuff. Like, I just, I don't know how I feel about that because, again, I feel like it's a little distasteful. It doesn't feel all the way appropriate. It doesn't feel right and so forth. And I, I feel the same way about guys like Ultimate Warrior or Macho Man or just people that are, that, you know, have passed away. The, if you've noticed, there's no wrestlers in the pick fed that are, you know, uh, that have passed away. And the reason that is is just because I feel like it's, it's more respectful. It's more, you know, it's better for or the families and like everything like that like I, I know that probably nobody that is related to those people click on my videos or watch my videos or whatever but I don't know what if somebody were one day to just click on one that's related to them or around them or whatever and it's like oh there's there's my murderer father there's my murderer uncle there's my murderer whatever and this guy's ch making him a champion you know what I mean so it's just like I don't I don't know and I, I, a lot of people yesterday I got a lot of great comments on yesterday's video and I really appreciated it and I'm gonna need you to comment on this video as well so down in the comment section below guys I need you to comment down below yes I would like to see Chris Benoit on the pick fed you're overthinking it it's not a big deal it's just action figures and it's all good bro don't worry about it or I want you to comment down below yeah bro that just sounds distasteful you know, it's probably not the best idea. The pick fed's fine without Chris Benoit. There's no need to even add him. So there's definitely two sides of the story, and there's two sides of the coin, but it's it's just interesting. It's 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 definitely something that I wanted to get on here and discuss with you guys because I love Chris Benoit, too, as the wrestler, I know. And it is, again, I don't think it was ever proven without a doubt that, you know, Chris Benoit did this. You know, I've, I've looked into the case many times, and I've dove deep into it, and I still think that, you know, it's disrespectful to think that he didn't do it, honestly. 
honestly. However, you know, I think it's still alleged. It's just a pretty, it just seems like he did it. There is some evidence that points towards him. I'm not saying there's no evidence that says it's him. Just saying, I don't, I don't know. Like some of the facts of the case are a little bit suspicious. And I know he, he dealt with terrible brain injuries and CTE and stuff, guys. I mean, the guy, they, when they analyzed his brain, they said he had the brain of an 80 year old with Alzheimer's. If you guys don't know what Alzheimer's is, it is a disease that deteriorates your brain and makes you forget things. It makes you where you, you don't don't know where you are most of the time you forget people's names you forget where you put things and you are utterly confused a, a lot of the time my grandmother actually had it she had dementia and Alzheimer's and it was very difficult dude like she wouldn't know where she was she wouldn't recognize me she wouldn't recognize our family so I mean I know exactly what that's like and if Chris Benoit was going through that as a wrestler on top of taking you know the steroids and on top of any alcoholism and on top of the depression that this man went through and on top of all of the concussions that the man took, I mean, it makes sense. It's a perfect storm, if you will. It's a perfect disaster waiting to happen, and I think that is what took place on that weekend in Georgia, and it's very, uh, it's, it's a terrible situation, and obviously it happened like 12 years ago. I still remember it to this day. I was 11 years old, and I was devastated by this news, but it's just a tough situation that I don't know if I, if I want to put this man in the pick fed for all of those reasons, you know what I'm saying? But I will say that he's a fantastic performer. Former. I loved him to death as a wrestler. He was incredible in the ring, put on classics over and over and over again, week in and week out. He was just uh, just a beast, and I enjoyed all of his matches. Again, he was one of my favorites. He was, without a doubt, one of my favorites. He would probably, if he would have never passed away, he would probably be number one over Cena if uh, and, and Orton if you know he if that stuff never took place there's a good chance that it could have happened but anyways ladies and gentlemen moving on I want to know if if Chris Benoit were to come in the pick fed I want you to comment down below not only you know do you think he should come to the pick fed or what would be your feelings on if he came to the pick fed would you want to see him on MDT live competing for the MDT the MDT world tag the US and the extreme championship or would you want to see him on the blue brand where he would compete for the elite championship the Ironman championship the Evolutionary Championship or the MDT Tag Championships. Now, see, the only problem is, is the only way that I add people to the pick fed is if it makes any sense, okay? I'm not WWE. I'm not Monday Night Raw garbage. I'm not going to come out and just add this guy to the crowd and just, just hey, this is this guy and he's going to be in here. The only thing that I can remotely think of is when Johnny Gargano showed up to Cody Rhodes for the Iron Man Championship, but to be fair, nobody on that roster on Vindication really has earned an opportunity at Cody Rhodes and he was asking somebody to come out there, and Johnny Gargano happened to be the one that answered the challenge. So with all of that said, guys, I would love to know all of this info down in the comment section below. Also, if you guys want to, if you guys know what attires Chris Benoit wears, I used to have a yellow for real. That's my favorite attires are the ones that say for real on them. Uh, it's this exact attire, but instead of uh, claws, I think on the left side, it's the for real logo, uh, and it's beautiful. I used to have the t-shirt. I wish I still had that damn shirt. Probably rare AF nowadays, but uh, let me know what attire you want to see for these customers. Chris Benoit's and do you think this torso is good for Benoit? I like this torso for Benoit. I think it's a really good torso. I think that it works. The only thing that sucks about this torso is that the arm gets loose as hell. Like, look at that right there. That's it. Both arms are very loose and I think that's because of this Stone Cold Steve Austin torso. So uh, I would also appreciate that. Like you know what formula do you like? I think this formula works perfectly for Benoit. Again it's just that torso gets loose and stuff and I still think this looks like his torso though. I mean it's all good and nasty and stuff. This custom was made by Showstopper Custom Figs. I used to have again the yellow black and red attire but I did get rid of it in a trade kind of feel bad about it, it had the same head sculpt on there but it was kind of like glossy and stuff and I wanted to uh, you know I wanted to keep my Wrestlemania 20 attire because I had to keep at least one Benoit in my collection so I'm definitely going to uh, make some more here with these Jax head sculpts but again let me know down in the comment section below Chris Benoit in the pick fed yes or no MDT live or vindication what championship would you like to see him go for do you think I'm overthinking it again or do you think you know what Brad it's all good it's just fantasy action figures whatever i know some people said book him as a heel i got a lot of great comments on the video yesterday from the unboxing if you guys missed yesterday's video definitely go check that out epic unboxing from geo it was freaking fantastic and now we're gonna get this uh thing going and uh, farts and bags and uh chris benoit pick fed or no pick fed let me know down in the comment section below but that is gonna do it for today's video guys i just wanted to get on here and discuss that and let you guys know and ask you guys that question but let me know down in the comment section below all of that good info subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe WWE action figure videos. Thank you guys so very much for staying tuned and sticking with me through this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.